Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today I'm working on a 2011 Hyundai Sonata. I'm gonna be doing front struts. It's gonna be a fairly easy job. I wanna be the guy that shows you how to do it. If you need this part or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Okay friends, first thing we have to do is make sure we have our vehicle supported. Uh, we're gonna raise it a little bit off the ground, but what we wanna do is make sure that the wheel is still on the ground, at least barely touching, with minimum weight of the vehicle on it because we wanna start loosening up these lug nuts while it's still on the ground. If you're using an air gun, well, you don't have to do any of this, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go caveman style. So now I've got those loose. Let's make sure that the vehicle is properly supported as it should be, and then we'll go up. We're gonna continue with our 21 millimeter. We're gonna remove all these lug nuts. What I like to do is I'll get one so it's almost all the way off, maybe just a few threads on. If you're not sure how far on it is, you can just take it all the way off and then go a few threads on. Now I'm clear to remove all the rest of the four. Uh, I can take those right off and I don't have to worry about the wheel falling off. And then I can hold on to it without my tool in my hand, take off the last lug nut, put it down safely. Okay? So that one's on pretty good. So now I'm holding my wheel so it can't fall down and hurt me. I'm going to take off this one last lug nut. There it is. Take down that. Hold my wheel with two hands. I'm gonna put it aside so it's nice and safe. Okay, so we got it up in the air. We have our sway bar link right here. This connects into the um, strut assembly. So we wanna make sure we get this off. Um, an easy way of doing that is using something like, uh, you know, locking pliers, whatever you have access to. Uh, you need to be able to grip onto the backside there. There's a metal piece. You wanna try to avoid the boot if possible. <clears throat> there we are, get that locked on. I'm going to take and remove this nut right here. Uh, for this one, it's a 19 millimeter, and I'm going to use my air gun, but if you have a ratchet with a socket, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to grab my gun, put it on here, remove that nut, okay, I can take off my locking pliers, get that out of the way, perfect. Now we're going to come over here. There's a 12 millimeter head here and another one down over here. That just holds these brackets. I'm gonna remove those. I'm gonna make sure we have plenty of slack to move things around with our ABS wire. I'm gonna probably remove this one as well. That'll help things move because once I remove these two bolts, this knuckle is gonna be able to move around. It might go ahead and put a tug on our ABS wire and I don't wanna go and buy another one of these ABS wires due to a mistake. So let's skip past that. We'll go 12, 12, 12, nice and loosey goosey. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on. So I'm just gonna mark our bolts. I've got one marked right here. I'm gonna mark the other one right up here, okay? And this is just gonna kinda help us remember which way these bolts were, just in case one of them's a camber adjustment. We wanna be sure that we get it kinda back to where it's supposed to go. All right, now we're gonna move ahead. 17 on this side, 19 on this side. I'll hold this side with a wrench. This side you can use a ratchet or your air gun, whatever you have, and we'll move along. So now I'm just gonna take off this last nut here. There it is, same as the other one. Okay, now I'm just gonna drive both these bolts out and we have to be careful because at this point, the knuckle will wanna come down, which is also gonna put a little bit of stretch on our axle. So we wanna make sure that if it does come down, it doesn't come down too much and we don't yank on it too much. We just want it to be enough out of the way so we can shake this around and get it right out. Okay, and grab my hammer. One, two, let's look at them. They're both the exact same and there's no oblong to them. So we don't have to worry about any alignment adjustment. So that's great. We'll put these aside. There we are. Now we'll just shake this apart, just like that. Perfect. Try to rest this aside. So like I said, it's not putting too much pull on the axle. Um, it might be a great idea to use something like a ratchet strap or some kind of device, rope, whatever you've got. Just tie it here, find some place to tie it so this doesn't pull away. So we'll do that real quick and we'll move along. So now we are, we're gonna remove these three upper nuts right here, okay? The first one I'm gonna take all the way off and I'm gonna put on a couple threads so it'll hold it. Then the other two I can take off. For this application, I'm gonna be using a 14 millimeter. I've got my 3 8 gun. Uh, you can use a ratchet, 
but basically it's a 14 millimeter turning to the left to remove these. Okay, get that cover out of the way. We've got our um, strut moving around nice and easy. I'm holding it up with my other arm. Take off that last nut. Now I'm gonna come underneath and I'm just gonna take it right out through here. And now we've moved our left front strut assembly. Here we go, friends. Quick product comparison for you. We have our 2011 Hyundai Sonata front strut assembly. All right, it's got the sway bar link mounting hole. We've got our coil spring. We've got the upper mounting right here, okay? We've got the lower mounting holes down there, perfect. A couple little bull holes there for uh, cables and wires. It's all in the video. We'll notice we have the same exact thing on our quality 1A Auto strut right here. Sway bar link hole, wires and doodads, mounting holes down there. We got brand new nuts up here, so that's great. You always want to replace your locking nuts. And there we go. So, if you need this part or any other part, you can always check us out at 1aauto.com. So we've got our new strut, right? We'll notice that the distance between this hole and this, or this stud and this stud is very long, shorter, shorter. So we want to make sure that that matches up with what we've got going on up here. This distance is longer than those two distances. So we'll just make sure it matches up. If it doesn't, no problem, just turn it, okay? This is just a strut cap, it's meant to spin. I'm gonna go ahead, bring it up through the wheel well, get it lined up. Here we are. Just gonna start these in. We'll torque them down after. Now I'm just gonna bottom these out and I'm gonna to torque them after. Let's grab the right tool here, 15 millimeter. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of copper never seize. I'm just gonna go across here. You can do that if you want. You don't have to, obviously, it's your car. Okay, I'm just gonna remove this, get that out of the way. I'll take it right off of there in a minute. I'll lift this up, see if I can get it weaseled in. Okay, I'm gonna put the bolt through from front to back. That's the way it came out, so that's the way it's going back in. Just have to wiggle it and jiggle it, that's cool. Do the lower bolt, same thing. If you need to, there we go. We don't have to worry about those crayon marks because it's non-adjustable, so that's no big deal. If you wanted to, you could use a little bit of thread locker on the back of these bolts. It's completely up to you. For the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna grab my 17 millimeter wrench, hold these, and I'm gonna tighten up these with the 19 millimeter. You can use your ratchet, do whatever you need to do. I'm just gonna cruise along, okay? We're gonna torque these up. I'm gonna start with the top, 17 on the bolt side, 19 on this side. It's 58 foot pounds. Get in there. There we are. Now we'll do the same to the bottom. So here we go. I've got my two bolts for down here. These are just 12 millimeter heads. Same thing I used to remove. I'm gonna use to install, okay? There's nothing special about them. I'm just gonna line it up, turn them into the right. Go ahead and do this one. Tighten this up. We've got one more up here. We've got our bolt. Let's see if I can get it in. Now we'll just go ahead and blast these with a 12 millimeter socket. So now we're up to our sway bar link. This is what I was mentioning when I was talking about removing it. You wanna to try to grab on with your locking pliers right onto the metal, okay? So once you have it on there, you know, you're good to go. So first I'm gonna put it back here. You can do it however you need to do it. If you wanna put it on first, you can do that. We've got our nut. We'll start this on. You can use thread locker if you want to. I'm not worried about it on this, on this uh, video. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and try to tighten this down. There we are. Blast it in with my 19 millimeter. Get these out of the way. Perfect. We'll just get our little rope out of the way here and we're clear to put the wheel on. Once we get the wheel on, we'll get it down on the ground. We'll torque this up and then we're gonna torque up the top, okay? To do the top, you wanna make sure you have the weight of the vehicle up there. So it's pressing down compressing that strut mount to the body of the vehicle. 
So here we go. I'm gonna lift up this wheel. I'm gonna be careful not to go like this and lift with my back and hurt myself. I'm just gonna take it, roll it right up my leg. I'm gonna use my ab muscles, lift it up. Put it on here. I've got my hubcap. I'm gonna put it up on here. And then I'm gonna hold these all together so it can't fall down. I'm gonna grab a lug nut, get them all started on. We'll snug them down a little bit and then we'll torque them. Okay, here we go. We're gonna to torque these up with our 21 millimeter socket to 80 foot pounds. I'm doing a star pattern, super important. When you go around the second time, if you choose to, you can go however you want. But to do the star originally is so that when you go like this, you tighten it here, it goes on. If I was to go here, it would push this side on, but what if it was kind of sitting off kilter, right? That would be bad. So I went here, here, sucked it all in, boom, boom, boom. Make a nice pretty star, and off we went. 80 foot-pounds with a 21 millimeter socket. Okay, I've got the complete weight of the vehicle on this strut now. I got the wheel torqued down, the vehicle's sitting on the ground as low as it's gonna get, so all the pressure is squishing between the strut cap and this. Now I can go ahead and torque this down to 43 foot-pounds. I'm using a 53, uh, 53, 15 millimeter socket, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go around. These are locking nuts, so I didn't need to use thread locker. It's up to you if you want to. I'm just gonna go around again, make sure it's good. Perfect, we'll put our little cover back on here. Just pops on, there's nothing special about it. There we go, great job everybody. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.